campers. Our trailer is empty. Our brake has been completed. I like when you wind up at a customer long enough that you can just make your brake work and get plenty of sleep. Not now, Maxwell. You get plenty of sleep. You, you get your trailer unloaded. You got plenty of time to log your uh, log your overnight break. Do you still get out at a decent time with lots of hours left on your clock? Oh, it's nice. It's windy. Uh, <laughs> this is exciting. We're heading back to the Petro. They have a blue beacon there. We're going to pay them a visit. Get our trailer cleaned. We are ready for our reload. Hopefully, hopefully our reload is literally just going to be turn around, come back here, get a load of sour cream, and head up to Idaho or something. Enjoy those.
Rio Rico, Arizona. It's actually kind of hot out here. We are in the desert, not far from Mexico, only about 10 kilometers. Uh, the the uh, mile markers on Interstate 19 in this area are in kilometers, not miles. Speed limit, still in miles per hour, but exit numbers and uh, markers are kilometers, which is a little bit weird, but you know, fine by me. It's actually hot out here. Like, we're, my air conditioning's on and it's not quite keeping up with the sun on our windshield and Mr. Maxwell's just a black truck, so generally makes the sun a little more effective on us than it might otherwise be. Just cooperate with me. Getting this to fit around my dash cam and my uh, GoPro mount. Always a fun exercise. heavy duty curtains that will block out most of the rest of the sunlight and help keep it kind of cool in here. <sighs> Even during the winter I still use the uh, I still use the sun blocker just because these curtains on their own are barely enough to cover my entire windscreen. So if I have the sun blocker up I don't need to worry about pinning the curtain to each other in order to uh, properly obscure anyone from seeing it in my truck. That'll work. This side, look how much darker it is in here already. It's great. Which piece is the long half? That's the long half, all right. Hook that to this curtain. We do have our, uh, we do have just our like truck curtain. But the truck curtain only separates the sleeper. It doesn't block out the front. So if I put up my own curtains, I get a little more living space. It also means that the heater slash air conditioner has to work a little bit harder because when you've got the back cut off from the front, then there's less, less air to cool down or heat up. But it's kind of an okay thing. Uh, making the air conditioner work a little bit harder keeps the whole truck cooler uh, without letting the air conditioner kind of run away with it. <laughs> if you're on a portion of summer that's not not total summer, like 70 degrees outside like it is right now, if I leave my air conditioner on all night, I'll wake up freezing. So giving it extra space to work on helps limit the uh, helps limit it from getting too bad. Uh, but anyway. We're parked. We're in Nogales, Arizona, uh, Rio Rico specifically. But as far as Prime's concerned, apparently that is uh, that is Nogales. There's a Wendy's here, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to lose my self control and buy a cheeseburger. My first cheeseburger in a while. <sighs> I'm not entirely sure I feel safe at this truck stop, but everything's locked up tight. My load bars are locked. Trailer's locked and clean. We're as far back in the spot as we can go. I even popped the, uh, I even popped the pins and slid my tandems all the way forward because so I could get a little further back in the spot. It's it's a cramped it's a cramped truck stop here. Let me show you. It's very cramped. It's even more cramped now than it was when I came in. Ignore my bag of garbage. I haven't had time to throw it out yet. Look at this. Look how tight this is. And it's even tighter because there's a guy parked illegally across from us next to the last space there. Look at that, the, uh, that repaint. Look at that on my face. Um, my curtain fell over my, my nose. Um, that repainted night truck trying to squeeze in there. Look at that. Look how tight that is. 
Like every space in here is a 90 or worse alley dock, which is not ideal. There's a couple on the corner that look kind of easy to get into. Naturally, someone has uh, someone has nosed into one of them and is probably blocking another spot there. But uh, wow, that guy with the repainted night trailer did a great job getting in there. Go you! <laughs> I think the uh, I think this white trailer and tractor combo here is also going to uh, try and park. But this place is pretty much full, and it's only like 2 p.m. What time is it? Not even 2 p.m. It's only 1:30. This place is full. It's ridiculous. And uh, we're going to be here until we're going to be here at least 24 hours, as our pickup time tomorrow is at 2 p.m. So this is our this is where we live tonight. <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Elio Dare, Azarangel17 on Twitch, Xbox Live, and see him drop and say hi. Let me know if you enjoy the videos by clicking like or subscribe. And of course, come say hi on the Twitters at Elio Dare, no apostrophe. And of course, comments are also appreciated because I do read them all. Look at all the people squeezing past that guy trying to squeak it, trying to back in. Oh, see this pickup truck that's kind of following the prime like a lost puppy? That is a, a trailer washout guy. There's like two or three of them just circling the parking lot trying to get work. Which is an interesting approach. But we got our we got our trailer professionally washed out up in uh, up near Phoenix, uh, what was that city called? Eloy, Casa Grande. Eloy Petro. So we're good. <laughs> that looks like fun. <laughs> also a repair truck, so. I guess this must be as uh, dangerous for your mirrors as as I suspect it is. I think we'll be all right, uh, at least until until someone tries to back into one of the spots next to us after uh, after someone illegally parks across from us, and then it's a super tight back. Otherwise, I think we're in good shape because it's not that it's not really that tight right where I am, unless people are parked across from me. So I think we'll be all right. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.